Let's me, let me explain how to configure your settings for the most efficient view to handle markup while you translate. The source language has the recommended settings, so let's configure the target language in the same way. Transit Next can represent markup in numerical form using so-called markup IDs. You can activate, if they're not activated, you can activate this feature in the view menu um, text and markup section, this one, option markup ID. You will note that next to each markup tag there is now a super index number. That's the markup ID. Markup IDs have two main functions. Firstly, they contribute to having a clear overview because some tags may be very long and cumbersome, for example this one here is a bit longer, but they could be even much longer. So using IDs you can have a clear view and you can work more efficiently. Secondly, they link the source language markup to the corresponding strings in the target segment. So each markup ID in, in a source segment, like this one here, has an equivalent in the target segment. One more thing that um, is worth mentioning is that IDs are enumerated within paragraphs. So that is every time a new paragraph begins, the ID counter is restarted. So you can see here tags 1, 2, 3, and then a new paragraph is here and it starts again. 1, etc. Okay, so now Thanks to the IDs, you can now see, uh, you can know where there is some markup that needs to be handled, and you don't need to see the markup tags at all anymore, like this uh, B tag. So you could hide them, and to do that, you go to Menu View, Markups, and Hide. So now you see the, the tags are hidden and the non-editable, the, the non-translatable segments are hidden as well. You don't need to see them at all. Another option that you may want to select is to see not the tags but the formatting itself, the formatting information, because it usually provides semantic information that might be relevant for the translation. Um, and that's option formatting in the same section as before. So now you see, you see the markup ID and you see the uh, formatting information in the same in the same segment. Um, and I've got good news for you. Uh, I've checked now these options for you to see how it's done, but unless you have modified your preferences yourself manually, these options should be pre-selected by default for you out of the box. So the first time you open Transit, um, this is the way you should see things. And this is the way we recommend um, you configure your view settings to translate, to handle markup while you translate.